The concept of the rhizome, central to postmodern philosophy and critical theory, was developed by Gilles Deleuze and Félix Guattari in their collaborative work, A Thousand Plateaus. It represents a radical departure from traditional hierarchical or tree-like structures of knowledge and organization, proposing instead a non-hierarchical, networked model of connection and heterogeneity. Deleuze and Guattari introduced the rhizome in contrast to arboreal, tree-like, models of knowledge, which emphasize linear, hierarchical, and centralized structures. The term rhizome is borrowed from botany, where it describes a type of root system that spreads horizontally, forming a network of interconnected nodes without a central or primary node. This botanical metaphor is extended to describe ways of thinking about knowledge and relationships that are non-linear, decentralized, and open-ended. The rhizome is characterized by connectivity and heterogeneity. Any point in a rhizomatic structure can be connected to any other, and it embraces the diversity of elements without privileging any specific one. Unlike trees or roots with a central trunk and hierarchical branches, a rhizome presents a flat and non-hierarchical structure where no element necessarily dominates the others. The rhizome emphasizes multiplicity and assemblage. It represents a network of diverse and fluctuating connections embodying the idea of continuous growth and change. Rhizomatic thought challenges binary logic and dualistic oppositions, preferring a fluid and open-ended process of becoming over being. The rhizome proposes an alternative model for understanding knowledge and organizing information. It challenges traditional, linear ways of thinking favoring a more complex, interconnected approach. The concept of the rhizome has been influential across various disciplines, including philosophy, literary theory, cultural studies, and even digital and network theory, as a way to conceptualize complexity and connectivity in different fields. By promoting a non-hierarchical structure, the rhizome subverts traditional power structures and authoritative narratives, opening up spaces for marginalized or alternative perspectives. In social and political contexts, the rhizome can be a tool for understanding complex systems of relationships and power dynamics, emphasizing fluidity, interconnectedness, and the potential for unexpected linkages. In creative arts and critical theory, the rhizome inspires new ways of creating and interpreting artworks and texts, emphasizing intertextuality, hybridity, and the breaking down of genre boundaries. In conclusion, the concept of the rhizome offers a powerful alternative to traditional models of hierarchy and centralized control. It encapsulates a vision of the world as interconnected, dynamic, and constantly evolving without fixed origins or structures. This idea has profound implications for how we understand knowledge, culture, and society, encouraging a more fluid, network, and inclusive approach to various domains of human activity.